Okay, so um, I'm a troll here. I decided to bring in someone so it's not just me talking for today, and I thought that it would be fun to get competitive perspective from somebody like you who has actually been playing in a lot more tournaments and regionals and things and keeping up with the format. Uh, <clears throat> this format just suddenly changed. Yeah. Like, I feel like people thought it was going to be one thing and it's another. What do you think of the cash tier deck? Like, what is... Well, first I'd say that I love it. Uh, the art's great. Uh, I love colors. The cards are... I don't want to use the word busted. We had busted cards. But I don't think the cash tier cards are busted. I think the strategy is pretty busted, though. But I like the deck. I don't think it's... If I may go out on a, on, a, on a very thin branch here, I don't think it's a fun deck to play. I've heard that too. <laughs> I've heard people say they don't like it. It's a good deck. It's, a, it's not a fun deck to play or to play against, but it is a good deck. I was interested in the fact that they did the whole zone locking. Like, I feel like that hasn't like, been as like a, concept, a, a thing. Yeah. I think it makes it probably less fun on average. But, like, then again, it's like people always complain about, like, Omni Negate, like, you know, just boards of Omni Negates or whatever. So this is, like, different than that? Do you think it's, like, what? would you say <clears throat> that this is, like, a more fun, like, thing for the opponent to try to, like, break? Or do you think, like, people would prefer, like, Omni Negate? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, no. Uh, just remember, for me. But, um, and the reason why I say that is, when I think of what the cashier deck is trying to do with the whole locking the zones, the first thing I think of is FTKs, right? Like, yeah. if, you're, if you're fighting against an FTK and you lose the die roll, it's downhill. You have to hope that they don't get what they need to finish you off, right? Yeah. And that's pretty much the same thing with the cast here. If they win the die roll and they get the pieces they need, you are in a world of trouble. Uh, whereas, of course, you know, if you go second, you can prepare for it or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. if you go second, if you, if you play first on the second game, sure. But or if you win the die roll, but if they go first and... I, if you know me in history of uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> tournaments, I don't win die rolls. Totally I don't. I don't win die rolls hardly ever in, in, in actual events. Um, and so my thing is knowing that and like playing against so many FTK decks over the years, nobody wants like there's no there's never been a time when somebody sat across from an FTK deck and said this is and fun. Enjoying themselves. I, this, no. is, this is great. So same thing. I know you were saying like it seems like maybe Kaiju's will be better. I know I've heard about people talking about what Book of Eclipse. Book of Eclipse. Now and the other thing too. Now Book of Eclipse is a card that everybody's been talking about, right? Mm -hmm. And also in tandem with that, people also been talking about Forbidden Lance as well. But that's a whole other thing. Um, Book of Eclipse is something that everybody's wanted to run, whether for the mirror or just in general. Cast here can lock out zones if they know you're playing Book of Eclipse, which is lock out your spell and trap zones. So it's a dead yeah. card. So the thing is, if you're gonna be playing cards, you should be playing cards that are helping you to out an opponent's board without the possibility of you having zones because you may not have zones. That, granted, they lock out your zones up, you don't get the pieces, we go to game two. But it sucks. But yeah. if you're playing Kaijus, you know, Spirit Mode, Lava Golem, I think, yeah, they like can, that. They can cheese it out. Right. I feel like I would prefer those two. I know you said, like, Nibiru's... I, I don't think like, Nibiru's a bad good. card. Because, uh, like, some, like, there's some good players that, that, that can play you know, that play through it. But for the most part, like, they use quite a few resources to do some things or whatever. And sometimes not, but it really depends on hands. But my whole thing of me playing, if I'm playing Nib, it's not really to, like, gain an advantage. It's just to stop what you're doing. Again, this is an FTK. Anything you can do to stop the FTK, you need to do. Yeah. So. Also, I guess like thinking about it that way, then what are the decks that like naturally have a good? Is there anything with a good cash tier matchup? Oh, uh, like meta wise, I don't. Yeah, know like, like like more relevant, I guess. Not. not um, really, I guess no. It's really hard because they have a walking macro cosmos. Um, if you had, to, if I had to trust anything, it'd be something like Sprite or Runic. Probably not Sprite Runic. But it'd be something like Sprite or Runic, just because Runic is very disruptive, and that and one card is all they need, like to do things. Because you can't lock up the field zone, so they get one spell of trap, they can do things. Um, but also Sprite, like Sprite, and granted, again, requires zones, but uh, Sprite can do things without having to use a normal zone sometimes, which is really good as well. So just things, like, just anything like that that requires them to like be able to interact with their opponent's board, because you can play Lava Gold in Sprite, right? You can mm -hmm. Lava Gold your opponent, spend something with Sprites, and go full combo. It's not that hard. So things like that, but. Competitive-wise, there are not many decks that are really touching. Yeah, I'm really. just being honest. Like, there are plenty of rogue strategies, but rogue strategies are meant to be rogue strategies for that purpose. Do you think like this is preferable to like the tier thing that we just came from? Because mm. I know it's like a contentious <laughs> one. Because I know like people have their you know like opinions about like the tier right. tier thing. Like, do you think are we? Is this like kind of one of these things where like we're going from like oh God, one this... nightmare to another nightmare, or is it like well, this is like better because it's like. More fair. Uh, I would like to say we definitely haven't woken up. This is still a nightmare. Um, now, granted, I, I, I played tier, and I'm probably going to play cash tier, in the, and that's I'm just telling you guys that now. Uh, with that being said, if I had to choose, I would choose cash tier as a deck because uh, <clears throat> even though cash tier was considered the best deck, we'll say that it was. Um, you mean tier was the best? I'm not sorry, tier. tier. Even though tier was considered the best, even though tier limits was considered the best deck, um, there were still ways to combat it. There, there, right. there, there are ways, like, people had D-Shift. I'm not saying D-Shift beats it, but D-Shift helps, right? 
Cas what, is, what does D ship to do against Cas here? Things like that. You know what I mean? Like so, this, like just in that format, there's also if you can stop the graveyard, you can kind of stop Tier Elements. So there's enough to like combat Tier Element whether they go first or second, as opposed to Cast Tier saying you can't play a card. Okay, so, so Cast Tier is actually I guess more polarizing. Yes, I think it is. That's interesting. No, no, I, it's I very don't, pretty. I don't and also for context for anybody, I don't know like. He's informing me of these things because I really have not like kept up a lot with it. So something else I was hearing too <clears> is <throat> that like Bestial's kind of less in the picture now too. Because like, I've had that conversation with some friends before. If Tears like presumably moving out of the picture and like all that stuff, then maybe also just people don't have to run like Bestials and everything anymore. And do you feel like they still are play? Do, do people still play this? Or is it, like <clears throat> it depends. Um... I ain't gonna lie. Like, and then man, oh, the, the, the Bistro Mandrake is what's called. This came out. It's a common crazy, but it's a really good card. But the thing is, I, I personally think that Bistros are in a weird spot. There are some people that want to run them still, but if you know that Cast Tier is the best deck in the room, like, and Bistros don't touch it, then it, it's kind of pointless. It just feels like, you're, like you're, you're, you're using it for yourself. Uh, with that, because you're never gonna use it going first. And another thing with Bistro too, if and you know, of course, we're talking about Cast Tier uh, as a, you know, as a, as, a, as an umbrella. But another thing that issue I have with Bistro too is that we just got that uh, Triple Taxi's Thrust. Yeah. Who wants to yeah. use a bestial card? Because the thing is, you use a monster effect, which proxy it. You put a monster on the field, which proxy its full effect. I'm never going to let my opponent yeah. walk into that card. I'm and never going to get whatever free, they want. You get a free card. That's actually an interesting one, too. Okay, so there's two cards in this new set that I wanted your opinion on. Okay. It's Triple Tactics Thrust, and like whether or not you think that's going to be good. Let's just start with that one. Like, Do you think do you think that the Thrust is like three of like yeah. in every deck, main deck, side deck? Um, It's you know it's always per player preference. I'm going to main them because, mm -hmm. again, there's... Because there are still, my thing is if you're playing cast here, there are still certain hand traps that don't stop you, but that can kind of edge your way a bit, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so you're going to want to play them to try to stop them, and I'm going to want to have Thrust. So, so Thrust is where, like, if your opponent uses a <clears> monster <throat> effect, it lets you, like... If your opponent uses a monster effect, you can set a spell you trap, set a spell trap that can't be activated the turn. And if they but use they, it on the field? No, they, if they use the monster effect and they, ha and they have a monster on the field, okay. when, you, when you choose to use it, then you just add a card you can to hand instead. So out. that's okay. why beast seals. And, and even with that being said, Tier has been hit. We also know that Tier was like, even though he got hit in OCG, it was still running rampant. I don't think it's going to happen over in the TCG. You don't. With, okay. I do not. And when you think about that, what else is Tier hitting besides Road Decks? Oh, not Tier. Uh, beast was hitting besides Road Decks and or and, and or Despia. And I'm sorry, Beast was aren't even that great against Despia either, especially not now. Right. So like, yeah. Like what is like what is be granted? Beast shows are good cards, but again, beast shows do way more against roll strategies than anything that we're about to do this next set. And that's just my opinion. Some people still use them against Sprite, but I've never thought beast shows were great against Sprite anyway. So, okay, so you mentioned that you don't think Tear is gonna because on the OCG it got hit. And It'll it be played thing. because there are innovators in the game, but it won't. So be like OCG, you don't like, think it's gonna be like the. You know, tier one like dominant. If it is, game. it'll be tier cast tier or cast tier lament. Yeah, so like, a, be, it's like a hybrid. It'll thing. be an amalgam. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a chimera at that we point. We got them hit harder than OCG, we did, right? Because um, OCG, it was like I remember like one went to two and one went to one, and then it, it was a lot less than we. We got. just got limited on everything, which 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 does make it easier to be an engine now. So that's why I don't think I don't think it's dead. I just know it won't be rampant like it was in OCG, like you know when it, when it first got hit. It'll still be played. I still like tier limits, to be honest with you. I don't want to not play them, but yeah, I you know like I guess not just too, too much like banless talk specifically, but just more on the tier thing itself. I actually was thinking it'd be cool if they like left tier to be tier and not yeah. Ishizu tier. Like, I thought that would have been cool. So it's like, do what you did to the Ashizu cards. Like, put them on a one or, like, whatever you want to do. But maybe, like, let the tiers just just be, like, a pure but, deck. And the see, but maybe they're that, still too good. But yeah, the problem with that is, I don't know if you, uh, like I said, you really don't pay attention. So I don't know if you saw or anything. Like, yeah, I'm ignorant. So, like, inform me. Yeah. Even in OCG, OCG players were no longer using the, the uh, Ishizu cards. They were strictly, oh, they moved on. They were strictly it. playing cast tier or tier limits. Okay. So you take the you take the Ishizu cards, we have the exact and same it's thing still anyway. the same. Still right. the same thing, right? Okay. So. Yeah, so in that case, I think it's probably good that they did. Now, the second card that I was going to ask about is that Gravekeeper's thing? That the spell, spell card. They like, different effects. One, you, they can't activate effects. They can't uh, special from the graveyard, and they can't like remove. Like banish yeah. cards or something like that? What do you think of this one? Side deck. I've heard, so side deck? Side deck. Like, like, but a good side deck it's card. A good side deck card. Okay. I agree. A good, actually, I've already tried to pick mine up. Um, good side deck card, um, just because, like, Necrovalley is a strong card. The, the only thing about Necro Valley is when, if you're running Necro Valley, you have to make sure that you're not running into an issue with your own Necro Valley. That's, that is a thing. Um, and sometimes you want to turn it off. That's what the spell card is. The spell card is just Necro Valley that you use when you want to. Mm -hmm. And then go on about your business. And also, it lets you choose effects or whatever, which is really cool. Because you might want to do one thing and, and stop your opponent from doing another. So, I think it's a good side deck card. Something I thought was really cool about the design of that one, too, is like, normally I'm not a big fan of these. Just like, play it as a floodgate. Like, it's kind of rude. 
Like, I'm not, like, a D-barrier fan. Fair like, enough. I don't really like that sort of thing. But, like, I think this was cool because, like, you have to use it at the start of the main phase. So I like that it's not sort of, like, I make my board and then, like, I just play this and now, like, you're so locked out. Yeah, it's pretty and much a call away. It's like, oh, it affects both players, but, like, I just played a second. So I thought that was a really good pick. And I do like that it does hit both people. So, yes. like, typically, I mean, I guess if you're playing it, you already know you're not that it's not going to really, like, yeah. hurt you. But still, I think that it's always nice when they, like, Add in those little tiny things just because it makes the card feel a little more fair. You have to like think about like how you want to use it. Like, is that is there any like good use for that against Kashtera or I don't know, if, maybe not. Not, not, really. not really. I mean, you know, they, no, not really. I mean, they could, but like Kashtera, first off, they all their monsters are going to come from the deck. They can get from the graveyard, but the thing is, like, what are you really relying on? Once their field is set, that's a problem because the, the Xyz, the Arise Heart's crazy, so. Not necessarily like needed against them, but again, other strategies. Cause I don't think Tear is dead. So, okay. So last two questions then. The first one is, um, are you excited about like the Kashtira kind of Overlords thing? Like, do you still feel like it's going to be like a fun format to play, even if the Kashtira matchup itself is maybe like not fun? Like, do you think the format will be fun? Uh, I'm not excited about it. No. Uh, now, granted, you know, I like to compete. You're so grudgingly much. playing it. Uh, I mean, again, the cards are beautiful. And I want them just for that. But the price doesn't you know, warrant just getting from being beautiful, so I have to compete. Uh, but like I said, just in me playing the games I've played online and even watching games, like, it is unfun. It's not boring, but it's definitely unfun. And that is a problem to me personally because I like to have fun when I'm playing. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like, if you lose die roll, you, it's, it's up it your battle. Like it's, it's like, rough. what's the point? You know what I mean? So. And then when the mirror matches come, you lose that role. You can go to game two and do the same thing to you game two that you were going to do to me game one. I have not had the honor of getting to play against Tyr yet. And I just, just this talk here, I don't even think I want to try. But Now, also, if I'm going to cut you I will say no, with the right. price of the cards as well, I don't think everyone have it. Now, granted, I don't think a lot of people, especially the top players, will have it. But there will be other people looking for different strategies because nobody wants to like foot that bill for some. Cause yeah, it's an effort. It's like, like it's in the upper hundreds. Paul, I looked at like what I was gonna need for what I'm trying to transition to, and it was almost a thousand dollars. Like for what I'm trying to transition to oh, is almost a thousand dollars, and that's a lot. And having the money, and wanting to spend the money, are two different things, and you know priorities. And you know it's a game, and I like the game, but like there it's are people high. who are like you know they 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 can afford it, but they're gonna try to find other alternatives because it's just a lot. So yeah, and I guess that's actually a good segue. You were saying like you know people are gonna try to find alternative strategies. If you had to like bet money on like the one kind of rogue thing that you think will like break out and do really well. What would you say it is? Plunder. I hate, you think plunder. I hate to say it. I hate to say that. So give, give a better answer. Please, please. Okay, exclude if plunder. If anybody says, is watching this, please forgive me for saying that because now I feel sick to the stomach. But, but but that. If there was anything else besides that, if I even had to make a choice, possibly. A wholesome answer. Maybe, maybe not wholesome. Right? If if I, I'm going to go on a huge a huge limb here because this is, I've, been, I've been looking at the cards. Um... Like, give it a hot take. Like Hot take? Yeah, I like have two options, and, and, they're, and they're both bad, but they're the best. I, I trust them to an extent. Hot takes that I trust, Desperate or Sword Soul. Desperate yeah, or Desperate or Sword Soul. Kind of, that's where my head went, too, actually. Like, if I had to choose cards, like, Desperate, like, first off, they, they can break boards. Like, Sword Soul is really good at breaking boards, too. They can make pretty good monsters. Same thing with Desperate. Desperate don't stop moving. That deck moves a lot. Yeah, you know that. what's interesting about those two decks is, like, they just got crept by Power of the Elements. Literally. But, like, now Power of the Elements, like, kind of got banned. Mm -hmm. Like, like Elf's gone. All these things are gone. And so, so hey. it's sort of like, they didn't lose any cards. Like, they, ha they haven't, like, Despia's... I remember when people were like, like, Brand of Fusion, like, like it needs to be, like, banned or limited or all these things. And nothing nothing's nothing. ever nothing happened nothing. to it. And the same thing with, like, Sword Soul. Like, I guess you could say, like, Protoss really early on. Like, he got banned. But, like, I mean, like Sword Soul has just been... Sword Soul's still, still, doing, there. Yeah, still doing things. So, so yeah. I feel like if, like... Those would be like my money would be on one of those. Two one, of yeah, right, one of those two. Like I mean, because you know people, there'll be people still playing Sprite and stuff, and I don't think Sprite's horrible, but Sprite Elf was a gut wrenching thing to, to get banned. That's yeah, a brutal hit. I mean, and, and we understand why it's using everything. Yeah, it's using everything. I, you know what's sad about that? Just a quick little side note on it. It's just like I hated seeing it get hit because I hate Sprite Elf. Like when it's used in like kind of the more pure Sprite. I hate when it's used with Toad. That's always why. Yeah, I hate. and like Toad and stuff, but. I also, like, it's like the Gishki stuff's supposed to come out. Like, oh, they were true. supposed to be able to do it's some cool be, things. Yeah. Like, now I can't really. So, you know, I guess it's like it, sometimes you get the good and the bad. And... It should have got limited. It should have got limited. But, we but that would have been, been interesting. I think just give, it, just give it a limit. I think that would have been enough. But, you know, hey. So that's all I got. Uh, I just wanted your opinions on this stuff. I, like I said, you guys, I have actually not been playing a bunch. I've eh, considered maybe playing a little of this format. I say that a lot, and I don't end up playing at all. 
I'll be the 250th, so I'll have to play at that at least. Hey. So, um, yeah, if you guys want us to do more of this, I'm trying to, like, you know, get other APS members on, and I think Trell provides a really good competitive perspective that I myself cannot provide. I only have Hopefully. my really casual, scrubby observations. All right, uh, cool. So, subscribe for more things like that. Like, comment. Sorry again for the Flunder uh, speech. Yeah, I mean, I hate Flunder. I played the deck. So. I know. Uh, yeah, and let us know down in the comments. What did you think of all of the topics and things? And uh, what's about the topics we can talk up? about? Yeah, what else can we talk about? There's, we can talk about many things. Yes. The weather, food, food, terrible one chip challenge. I hated that. Okay, y'all don't know about that. It's a different thing. All right. Anyways, that's it. We'll talk to you guys later. Faster. Faster.